Number 24, there are two horizontal forces on the 2 kg box in the overhead view of this figure over here. But only one of magnitude F1 equals to 20 newtons is shown. So we know that F1 is equal to 20 in the i direction newtons. So this is our first vector. The box moves along the x axis. So this is an important information. For each of the following values for the acceleration AX of the box, find the second force in unit vector notation. So it gives us different accelerations and we have to find vector F2. So let's remember from Newton's second law that the sum of the forces is equal to mass times the acceleration. And we know that the acceleration points in the x uh, moves along the points in the, the x axis. It could be positive or negative. Okay, so let's say we have a second force that we are going to call it F2, and we have to find F2. That's our goal in this exercise. Okay, so let's write the sum of the forces F1 plus F2. This is equal to the mass times the acceleration. And in the first case, the acceleration is equal to 10 meters per square second in the i direction. Okay, so we have 20 in the i direction, which is F1 plus F2 equals to, what, what is the mass? 2 kilograms, 2 times 10 in the i direction, because we know that the box box moves along the x-axis, so the acceleration is always in the i-direction. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have 20 in the i-direction plus vector f2. Don't forget to add the arrow over the vector. And in this side we have 20 in the i-direction as well. So you can see that f2 is equal to 0, right? f2 is equal to 0 for letter A. So we just have to repeat the, the same procedure for letter B, C, D, and E. So let's see, letter B, the acceleration is 20, so we have 20 in the I direction plus vector F2, which is equal to 4, uh, sorry, it is equal to 2 times 20 in the I direction. So we have the 20 in the I direction plus vector f2 is equal to 40 in the i direction and then you can conclude that f2 is equal to 20 in the i direction don't forget to include the unit which is newtons so that's the answer for letter b for letter c we have that acceleration zero so f1 plus f2 is equal to zero so F2 is equal to minus F1, which is equal to minus 20 in the i-direction newtons, right? Because F1 is equal to 20 in the i-direction. That's the answer of letter C. For letter D, let's see. We have vector F1, which is equal to 20 in the i-direction, plus vector F F2 is equal to 2 times minus 10 in the i-direction. So 20 in the i direction plus vector f2 is equal to minus 20 in the i direction. So vector f2 is equal to minus 40 in the i direction newtons. So that's the answer for letter D. So letter E, we have the 20 in the i direction plus vector f2 is equal to 2 times minus 20 in the i direction. So we have the 20 in the i direction plus f2 is equal to minus 40 in the i direction. So vector f2 is equal to minus 60 in the i direction newtons. And that's the answer of this exercise.